You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown out on the ground and cool connotation. This was not just it. It hurt. It just what it just, you know, well, I think most people as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think most people think. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. We're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fast. Election is coming. Um, we are going to see a lot. We have two um, opponent, the Republican and the Democrat. You know, um, the opposition party and the two opposition party, one for President Biden, one for President Donald Trump. And we all know that and when two people are fighting, um, they say when two elephants is fighting, the grass is going to suffer it. Which means that um, so whoever is going to win will be the one that will, will be the victory. Obviously, there's going to be a winner. And many people, you know, President Donald Trump has a lot of cases coming during this period, and they are rushing for some of those cases for the election to take place for those cases. But as we keep seeing, we see a lot of stuff that is happening. Looking at President Donald Trump, looking at everything that just happened around him. We could see um, A.G. Caro came out again. Remember A.G. Caro? A.G. Caro is the one who came out and talked about she was being um, assaulted by President Donald Trump long time ago. And she came out again with another allegation. You know they give President Donald Trump um, $83 million before to pay for A.G. Caro case. We thought it was close. But she reopened another case again. She came and explained that um, emotionally, she also talked about um, being assaulted. When you told people you are being assaulted, they have that horrific image in their mind. She tried to say how she has lost her, her right as a woman, how she does not sleep, the effect it has given her, the consequences it made her to be because she was sleeping with weapon. She's always scared somebody is going to come, somebody is going to touch her. It affects her mentally. She has to be put in a mental, um, mentally, um, she has to be seen by um, a psychiatrist. A lot of stuff are happening. Then, and she came now, she's speaking, she the mouthpiece of other women. Not only who President Donald Trump have assaulted, but to all the men especially the people in power a lot of people in power even if you're not in power just men in general in general who has power over their victim that they are playing with so according to us you have to bring um a revolution to the world to tell men that you are, they have to stop what they are doing and assaulting people that they have power over them so according to her if she does not do it She's not going to so her satisfaction is going to come from that from that type of scenario her satisfaction will come with um with that type of um judgment given onto her without that judgment she's not going to sleep she's not going to rest she's only still going to push on push on push on until the lawyer they talk about her lawyer who is for her is the same lawyer that was with Bina's daughter so according to people, because they have both the same lawyer, so she's seeing that, people are seeing that, so President Biden is the one working with her. Obviously, that must, so President Biden is the one who is sending her ahead. So to President um, Donald Trump, a lawyer, she said that um, this is a political issue. This is no more a personal thing because um, AG Carey is going far. Um, by um Donald Trump lawyer, she said that um AG Carroll was being sent by President Biden. It's a political strategy to come on President Donald Trump. So she doesn't even believe all what AG Carroll is saying and she's going to fight that though there's nothing anyone can do. Basically, um AG Carroll is there talking. Um AG Carroll claims that because of that incident it has put her to begin to take drop. You know the if the consequences this got on many women is that sometimes it destroy you forever. 
according to most women testimony it destroyed them in their relationship first of all um you don't have trust with no man so if you don't have trust with no man obviously you cannot stay with anybody that's why you see that most of the time they divorce a lot because they always there's no trust in the relationship and we are not trust someone it destroyed their um, emotion their love is not they don't really love any man they're always scared that you want to harm them which is bad most of the time they are um they're psych they're on psych and, and um on medicine for psych you know when you start taking that medicine for psych obviously it's going to affect you uh, it will bring you another consequences either you begin to eat too much either you begin to sleep too much a lot of stuff your hormonal system even change you insomnia coming you cannot sleep you know if you cannot sleep it create another illness or another sickness so there's a lot to be said over this so basically um what do you really think about this and do you support aj carol for pushing on to the president times also women with this situation they will not even um we lead war with life because you always we well, don't trust people your relationship is a mess it begins to affect every other person around you a lot of stuff happening you're just living with fright so something might happen to you someone will carry you so you pass even that fear to your children so it makes some time you disconnect with people that you have to bond with because you're afraid that what happened to you might have happened to them so you overtake it to another situation and if god don't help you destroy your own relationship with your own children that you have and um so ag carol said she has been destroyed she don't care about nothing that's why even the money that they gave her she was going to help other women with she was going to help with a non-governmental organization she was going to do a lot with that money not even for herself before other women who are victims and who have no voice to give them voice so she was encouraging other women who are outside to come out and speak out if any man anybody power or no power have done anything to them and they did not have that voice no matter how many years it has lasted you know there's something about it when you're being touched like that you don't have you cannot speak for some reason you're quiet i guess other you get after you get older and bolder then you cannot speak but you are just scared sometimes they will tell you i'm going to kill you i'm going to lock you up so from testimony other women but after some time they will, after they become tired of themselves maybe they grow older and have a position or they find god and they become more stronger and what is your own take on that if a woman watching me or a man let me see your own opinion. Do you support AJ Carol? If she was your daughter, will you allow President Donald Trump to go free? If she was your sister, what will you do? If she was your wife, what will you do? Can I see your own opinion? Or if she was your friend, what you advise her to do? To back off or to go ahead? Let me see your own opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. See you in our next video. Underneath this video, there's a link for my shop fix store there's a lot of goodies you can buy holidays is coming and you can buy for yourself for if you your, for your spouses your children whatever you want is on that shopping um it's on this it's an online shop and the link will be on the description board please help and support me 